Dare Dare by Tommy Orange. The story involves many Native Americans living in Oakland, California in contemporary times. The book is, it follows a diverse group of Native Americans from Oakland, California whose lives are connected and intersected sometimes through friendship relationships or through complicated familiar relationships who are getting together for one event called the Big Oakland Pow Wow. However, the focus of this book is about what these Native Americans go through and suffer through. They're in the inner cities in poverty. We encounter in this book people and families which are being destroyed by suicide, drugs, alcohol, violence, etc. These families are held together by strong women, aunts, moms, grandmothers that are trying to hold families, and even in, and even Native American community in general. Tommy Orange discusses well that Native Americans in society and the way their culture has been stereotyped for enter entertainment in the U.S. Urban Indians feel more at home in large metro metropolises than they do in nature. And the narrator asserts that not all Native Americans are trying to return to the land. In this book, it really sets a tone of the problem that Native Americans face, especially in the inner cities when it's easy to get intermixed with drugs, poverty, violence, etc. One of my favorite, one of my characters starts to doubt themselves for being Native American, ask if he's a real Native American if he lives in the city. He doesn't necessarily grow up around the culture. Instead of expecting this Native American culture, they have stuff that goes towards the worst. In part two, in the reclaim, Bill Davis, Edwin's mom, mom's boyfriend, is struggling to keep up with the times as he ages. Another character named Calvin Johnson, who owes Octavio money for a drug boast. And Jackie Redfeather, a Paul's half-sister, who struggles with alcoholism to reconcile a life of loss and pain. All in all, it is a horrible. it is horrible growing up around this. Not only for the children, but also for the adults, moms, dads, etc. This is one of my favorite books because of this one very quote. We all mess up. It's how we come back from it that matters. This is one of my favorite quotes in the story because although this applies so much in the story, this also applies to everyone. I believe this means although you cause a problem or mess up, it's how you react that decides what really matters. If you choose to be sad from the problem, that's a bad reaction. However, you choose to move on and be happy. This is what matters. That's how you should come back... And in the story, they show this by a character named Tony Loneman, who sells drugs and born with fetal alcohol syndrome. He says this quote because he's well aware of drugs can completely mess up people's lives and is ruining his life. However, he thinks it's how you react to decides how you feel. If you choose to be upset, then he will be upset. And if you choose to be happy while doing these bad things, he will be happy. And I just want to say, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And... Uh, hashtag subscribe to Tony. Thank you.